The line you are about to see was designed and manufactured by Custom Roll Form Products for McQuay International, a manufacturer of air makeup units. The main body or structural enclosures of these units consist of two basic components, the frame rails and the intermediate supports. Both the frame rail and the intermediate support are manufactured from 16 gauge pre-painted or galvanized mild steel and both are produced from the same 9 and 5 8 inch coil slit width. The intermediate support is primarily a 4 inch wide hat channel profile with 2 inch vertical flanges and 1 inch opposed horizontal edge flanges on both sides. The support hat channels need to be continuously punched down on both edge flanges and pre-notched and end formed on both the lead and trail ends. We produced a special combination cutoff and end form press that forms and folds both ends of the part in line as the parts are being cut to length. The tubular frame rails were also manufactured on the same coil feed roll system and produced from the same 16 gauge coil stock and slit width used for the hat channel profiles. Feeding the four hat channel profile through additional roll form tooling and stations produced the two inch square tubular frame rails. Using pre-tooled pre-notch and punch dies, a quick change roll form tooling setup and two special pre-tooled cutoff and end form presses, both products are produced on the same coil fed system with a minimum amount of setup, downtime or scrap loss. Automatic changeovers from tubular frame rail to intermediate support make this a true just-in-time production system to improve your lean manufacturing capabilities. The complete coil-fed punch, notch, roll form and end form system consists of a dual mandrel decoiler, powered feeder straightener with sonic loop control, a series of pre-tooled hydraulic punch notch dies with a programmable roll feed, a special pre-tooled 24 station roll former, and two complete sets of cutoff and end form presses. The dual mandrel decoiler is designed for a quick changeover from pre-painted to galvanized stock or pre-loading for the next coil to be run. The one set of coil mandrels can be changed over offline as the other set is feeding the coil strip into the system. The hydraulic punching and notching system consists of six pre-tooled inline press dies. Two presses are designed to continuously punch a combination slot hole punch pattern down both edges of the coil strip in 12 inch increments. Two other presses are pre-tooled and in line to pre-punch and notch the lead and trail ends of the parts for either the frame rails or the intermediate support sections. The other two press die units punch holes down the length of the tubular frame rails as required. The programmable roll feed sequences the coil strip feed and cycles the presses through the AMS microprocess controller. Parts can be keyboard entered or directly downloaded from an in-office AutoCAD file through a DXF file with the Eclipse option. McQuay designs each air makeup system and direct downloads all the sizes and specifications directly into the microprocess controller. As the parts are produced, the system produces a corresponding label to identify the part, usage, and location in the assembly. The pre-punched and notched coil strip will feed directly into the first stage pre-tooled 14 station roll former designed to manufacture the intermediate support hat channel profile. As the formed part exits the roll former, it will feed directly into a specially designed hydraulic cutoff and end form press die. The die will sense and pilot off the rolled formed pre-notched opening. The die is designed to fold, form and swedge the leading and trailing ends of the intermediate support hat channel profile as it cuts the parts to length. Using a programmed cutoff and forming cycle, the die will double fold a return flange on both ends as it swedges the two side edge flanges together to produce a completed part automatically and in line. Using the programmed multi-stage form cycle, hydraulic cylinders are mounted above, below and on both sides of the cutoff and form press. All the forming operations are hydraulically sequenced and cycled, eliminating any mechanical cams or slides within the die. This combination cutoff and form press eliminates a series of downstream or additional offline operations to complete this part. One of the most unique features of the system is the ability to automatically change over from the intermediate support profile to the tubular frame rail in approximately two minutes with a minimum of downtime, setup, or scrap loss. 
After the program punch notch system has run all the hat channel profiles, the program changes the pre-notch within the coil strip and continues to punch and notch the strip for the tubular frame rails. The new pre-notch feeds out of the punch presses through the slack loop and into the roll former. There's a pinch roll feed and cutoff press mounted directly in front of the roll former with sensors to read the pre-notch. When it reads a different pre-notch, the rolls clamp and hold the strip as the shear die cuts the strip. The strip will continue through the roll former post, cutting and end forming the remaining parts. Once all the parts are cleared from the roll former and cutoff, the last station roll former will laterally shift in line with the first 14 station roll former, making a total of 24 stations to produce the tubular frame rail. At the same time, the intermediate support cutoff and form die is shuttled offline. To produce the 2 inch square tubular rail from the 4 inch hat channel profile, the channel web needs to be narrowed by approximately 1 8 inch to compensate for the bend allowance. When the coil strip is cleared from the first roll former, the roll tooling is automatically repositioned using hydraulic cylinders on roll form stations 5 through 14. With all 24 roll form stations in line, roll tooling and properly indexed, the system will feed the coil strip through the complete set of roll form stations to manufacture the tubular frame rails. The roll form feed will sequence and feed the strip, form the frame rail profile, and feed it directly into the pre-tooled two-stage punch, emboss, and cutoff presses. The two dies are designed to sense and pilot into the roll formed pre-notch, punching and embossing the lead and trail ends, then into a combination punch, emboss, and cutoff press die. Cutting, punching, and forming the lead and trail ends automatically and in line eliminates any secondary offline operations. The design of the McQuay framing system is very unique. The special interlocking tab ends on the frame rail produce a strong interlocking corner without any secondary parts or fixtures. The extruded holes and countersinks formed in the cutoff die allow the parts to be directly fastened with self-threading screws. The fact that both parts are produced from the coil strip simplified the part changeover and flexibility of the system. The overall accuracy of all the punching and notching is very critical to ensure alignment of the parts and panels together. This system has been in service since 2003, producing parts for two of their manufacturing plants on a daily production schedule. Everything you see on this line was designed, built, and manufactured by Custom Roll Form Products. All our systems are engineered, wired, plumbed, and programmed to ensure we can service everything we sell. Buying a system built by a single source manufacturer will guarantee you quick service and years of quality production. Let Custom Roll Form Products show you what you can do to increase your production, minimize labor and scrap loss, and improve your bottom line.